we want to see all our brethren in the heaven. I ignored for 10 years. I remembered what you said, and I returned to God. My life became very, very joyful. God grant all of us to live in Him and to enjoy His work. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you so much, Abu Nayani, for being with us and in always encouraging us. It is my pleasure to be among them, and I am in need of their prayers. And uh, I, I hope that God grant all of us to work as, as the children of God and live in the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father and Son, the Holy Spirit, and God, Amen. In the epistle of St. Paul to the Hebrews, chapter 8, verses 10 and 11, he wrote, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, say the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them on their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. None of them shall teach his neighbor and none his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me, from the least of them to the greatest of them. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Always, we as Christians, regardless we are priests, deacons, Layman, any person, even the very young uh, people. We ask, how can we witness to the Lord Jesus Christ? How can we be in contact with every person? Because according to the epistle, I think 67, or in the uh, Septuagint 66, it is read that the whole nations, the known, the whole peoples, all the world will know the Lord. How they will know the Lord? Sometimes we imagine that we have to speak and to write and to do all our best so that we hope that all the world can believe in the Holy Trinity, the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Here, St. Paul, who was a very great preacher and a very great apostle, told us how to preach. He said that this is the covenant that I, when it is in the, the words of God to us, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. And when he says he is the house of Israel, he means the, new, the church of the Old and the New Testament. Here, when he say it will be due, it means he is speaking concerning the new church or the church of the new covenant. And he says <clears throat> on the Lord, concerning the Lord says, I will put my laws in the mind and write them on their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. In fact, St. Paul, he spent a lot of time while he was young. He was against the cross, against the Lord Jesus Christ. And he looked to him, said it is his duty to abolish the name of Jesus Christ in the world. When he met the Lord Jesus Christ on his way to Damascus, and the heaven was opened, and I think the glory of God was, the, the, the glory was shining on him from, the, from his body, the crucified body, then he discovered that the cross, in fact, is the source of the glory to the believers. From that time, instead of working by his own experience or by his own mind, 
according to his imagination, he trusts in the grace of God. His life became, in fact, life of prayer, and he depend on the depended on the work of the Lord Himself in him and in those who hear him. We are in need to pray and to discover and be in touch with the grace of God, which is working in the whole world, because we trust that God will work every place and in every nation, and we will see how the grace of God is working. Therefore, we hear from the Lord or from St. Paul, none of them shall teach his neighbor. Truly, we teach, we write books, we try to reveal our love to their salvation, but we have to trust in the grace of God, not in our own self or our experience and so on. He said that they none will teach his neighbor. We say the Lord who is dwelling in my heart or in my mind, or in my inner man, is working even on those in the life of the non-believers, and God will grant them to, by his Holy Spirit, to be in contact with the Holy Trinity and to enjoy the new life in the Lord Jesus Christ. We are not in need to teach our neighbors or our brethren, we are in need that they know the Lord through the grace of God. Therefore, I think before we, we preach, every time we have to pray and to ask that the Lord himself will preach through us. I remember when I wrote the book concerning the, the church, from many years, those who make the icons, before they start to make any icons, they pray. And they not only pray, they also they practice fasting. And they ask God to reveal himself through the icon. And in, in our life, regarding we are speaking, we are writing anything, we say, oh, oh, our Lord Jesus Christ, we are your children, and you can reveal yourself through our life, through our love to our brethren, and so on. We ask ourselves, are we surely Oh, we are praying on behalf of the whole world. And instead of condemning any person who did, who was not Christian or who did not live in the Lord Jesus Christ, although he was baptized and so, do we surely praying and feel that I am, it is my first responsibility for me as a Christian, not as a priest or, or as a deacon or anything or as a servant of God, we have to ask, are we truly asking for the salvation of all mankind? I remember once when a, a person heard between some pro problems between the presidents of the uh, countries, and instead of looking to in the, in the news, he started to pray, Oh Lord Jesus Christ, can you direct or work even in the president of the whole countries, all the countries all over the world, so that through them, though they are not 
priests, they are not deacons, they are not Christians, but God can change everything and reveal himself by, by all means so that we, they discover the true love of the Lord. We can't imagine how God is involving in the salvation of the world. As God the Father sent his son, and his son was, it was his pleasure to be crucified on behalf of the whole world. And the Holy Spirit also is, was working and still working until now for the salvation of men through the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ and through his also resurrection. The Christian person, the true Christian person, the believer, feels that I am risen with the Lord. In fact, we are, we have the experience of the heaven itself. We do not say God is in heaven as he is far away from us. He is dwelling in our hearts. When we speak about the last day when the Lord will appear and he will take all those who lived or who enjoyed his work, salvation work, when on our, when we will be in the paradise or in heaven, then we feel truly that God is involved in this day. As he said to his disciples in the book, or the gospel according to St. John, that he would uh, will, uh, ascend to heaven to prepare the way to us and to prepare the glory for us. He is involved not in the angels, the archangels, the heavenly hosts, and so on. He is involved in me and in my brother. Even this brother is not Christian. Even he do not, do not know, he do not, does not know the salvation, the crucifixion, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, the work of the Holy Spirit, the fatherhood of the Father. Therefore, we ask every day from our, our hearts, the Holy Trinity, we ask God the Father to reveal his fatherhood to everyone and to the Son to reveal that he accepted us as we can say we are in fact united with him and they enjoy the fellowship with him. We are very happy that the Holy Spirit guides us. May the Lord grant all of us to enjoy the work of the Holy Trinity in us so that we become not only believers, but we can preach even by our prayers, by our fasting, by our love to every person in the world. We, we never condemn any person whatever was his or is his situation, even if he is a sinner, because we, as St. Paul used to say, that he is the fairest sinner, or he looks to himself as he is a sinner more than any person. May the Lord grant us to live in the Lord Jesus Christ and to enjoy the new life, to enjoy the heaven which is in fact in our hearts, to feel we are very happy always because we are waiting for his coming and we asking him to come soon because we are uh, we want to see all our brethren in the heaven itself. God grant all of us to live in him and to enjoy his work. Glory be to God. Amen. Thank you so much, Abuna. Thank you so much. Uh, You're welcome. Abuna, sorry, Abuna. Yeah. Okay.
No, we, we just have a few questions uh, for Otsa, Kani. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, the first question actually was uh, exactly that topic. I didn't know what Abuna was going to talk about. But so this is uh, uh, this actually was one of the questions that I had written down was like living in the Western world, uh, there is too much evil in the world. Um, so everything is against God. Everything is against the Bible and the teachings of the Bible. Um, so how can a, as a Christian live live in the world? Yeah? And uh, I want to say what... Father Bishu Kamil used to say. He said, when you do something and you feel that you are very successful and there is no attacks, then you have to be to know that you are not working. Satan is working in you. If we surely feel that we are children of God and we love the cross and we are working so that everyone has the to taste the risen life, surely there will be a, you will be attacked. When you are attacked, you are very successful. I believe, although what we hear here concerning the whole world, not only in the West or in the East, but in the whole world, Satan is working to abolish our faith. But who is more stronger, Satan or the Holy Trinity. We have to, to trust that the Holy Trinity is working even in the lives of those who attack him. Many of them, I remember um, I read a book, but unfortunately I gave it to somebody to translate in Arabic. In this book he wrote many of those who were against believing in the Holy Trinity and in even believing in God. And before 70% of them, by he put names, and he said 70 per, uh, per, per, uh, cent, they, before they die, they return to God. And they asked their family that he was very wrong in his way. And he now asked God to work in him and to prepare him to see the Holy Trinity. Then we never be in despair. We are always in, in faith and we trust in the work of the Holy Trinity. And we just ask God to work and the God works even secretly in many, many persons. And some persons sometimes appear they are against faith. And God works in them and they live in the Lord and enjoy the, their salvation. And we do not despair at all. We are in the in, the, in, the, in the, we are in hope. In, Yes. Thank you, Abuna. Thank you very much. Yeah, if if you right. guys have any questions, uh, like uh, just raise your hand or something, so I don't know you any. But I've, I've got like I've got some prepared here. But so, but while yeah, while we're doing this, if you do have a question, please uh, raise your hand. So I know. Um, Abuna, as um, sure, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Okay. All right. So, um, as a young as a young person. Uh, Utsak, as a young person, a young youth, what made you love the Bible uh, so much? Well, um, <clears throat> how we love the Bible? Yourself, Yanni. What's your experience with the Bible as a young person, Yanni? Why did you love the Bible so much from a young age? How? How did you build that relationship? With Bible? In fact, uh, the Bible, I learned from while I was very young. The teacher of Sunday school always asked us, when you open the Bible, you start to speak with God. May you grant me that I not just love the Bible, I want to enter in dialogue with God. Then when we enter in dialogue and we speak frankly with God, even if we have some problems, I said, I have problems, I can't pray. Uh, my, the, uh, my, my life 
in fact in, in i have problems in family in with friends in the school in the work we we have to speak frankly with god for example i remember once yani i once i was in canada and one of the relatives asked me what can we my children want dog and i said no i said to to the person no buy the dog and uh, they will love and they have feel responsibility and so on after some months i was in uh, i think los angeles in california and one of the, his children called me and said i asked him what about your dog we said you can ask my mom i said her what about your the dog she said when i came the dog is interested to play with me and so on i love the dog if this is with the dog how if sorry to say that if we do the same with the lord he is my father he wants me to speak he sometimes he grant me lot of uh, yeah, something blessing in my life if there is a problem in my life i feel it is through the, the love of the lord he granted me to be in a problem so that i can be in contact with god and ask him to work in my life yani when we feel we are little children like the, like i any little boy or, or girl and i speak with my father god himself and he open his heart to me and i love him as he also loves me then we we want to be and speak frankly with with the lord thank you one thank you bishoy okay. bishoy has a question bishoy from canada buna hi yeah. buna i can see your hands i'm your son bishoy from montreal canada yeah. hope you still yeah. remember me where my uh, uh, supervisors of the master see this on the book of joshua back in 2010 <laughs> so um i have a couple of questions actually since you're uh, one of the most important authors in the Coptic church and um, um you enlightened many minds and i'm quite sure that it was not that smooth like you know um usually like you know we have always the work of satan we have things that would hinder us from uh, our service and so on um what would you do for for those who would demotivate and criticize and those people would demotivate usually the authors they would say like, you know nobody's interested in reading anymore why are you still uh, writing till now um those also who would criticize it would say yeah your work has lots of mistakes and so on so what do you do usually when you have these they in fact well, they are in need not to obey you as you say they have to read the bible they are in need of your love sometimes you speak with them gently and with love and open your heart to them and they attack you when they return home or after a couple of days they return to their mind and said oh surely i love and they return to the bible and they read in it although perhaps and i remember a person from about one year called me from united states and said to me you spoke with me from about 10 years and i don't and i ignored what you said for 10 years this week i remembered what you said from 10 years and i returned to god and my my life became very very joyful therefore i called you to thank you for your words words from 10 years so perhaps you speak and he ignore perhaps he thank you 
And afterwards, oh, he returned to his mind and the, the grace of God will work in him. Then he said, oh, it is my fault. I have to surely this person was correct and that it is my fault. Thank you, everyone. Abir, yeah, yeah. Thank, you, thank you, Abir. Um, yeah, if anyone is, has questions, I've got a list here, so uh, feel free to put your hand up, please. <laughs> um, uh, Bishoy, so you have a second question. Sorry. Bishoy. All right, I have a second question. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I don't want to be no, greedy, no. but anyway. No, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Abuna, you, you inspired many. Um, like, you know, who inspires you? Inspire? What do you mean by who inspires you? Me and the I know I said the word inspired what mean for, for, through me <laughs> I learned from many 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 persons I can't say I only this person and I know father Luke he is a monk and he became a bishop in Nagahamadi and he died I do not ignore how he loved me while I was in the first years of Sanawi uh, in the uh, secondary school. Yeah, I, I remember everything. I, rem I once asked a person, "Do you what about your?" relation with Father Bishoy Kamil. He said, I loved him too much. And I heard a lot of his words. I said, can you tell me what the, what the most you, where the, you love and you lo what is the words you love from Father Bishoy Kamil? He said, I want to tell you what I remember, his face. He always he was joy, joyful, and he spoke me through love. This is the words which he I, he granted me. Then we have to work, and we do not look what are the result. Surely God will work in you if you seriously want Him to return to God. Thank you, Abuna. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, I want to stay. When Saul be, became an obs, uh, apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, St. Paul, he imagined that he will be very successful if he will speak with the Jews because he, he was very well, well known to them that he was against Jesus Christ, against the cross and so on. Then he would say, oh, I saw the Lord in the heaven. I returned to him. I became very joyful. I became very successful. While he was looking to the Jews, God, uh, uh, God worked in him through the Gentiles. Then we have to put the, the hidden plan of God in our life. Surely God will work with you, not, a, not according to your a plan, but according to the plan of the Lord Himself. Okay, Abuna, there's another question. Um, so, what was the first book you wrote? And I, I remember there's a story about. Uh, can you tell us that story, Abuna, about the first? Some of the the first book I wrote. I wrote a maqal bin uh, 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 while I was about 10 years or 11 years in my life, I wrote it in the school. It, it is primary school. I wrote it not for the Christian, but for all the students. And uh, they asked me, how you wrote it? I said, nothing. I, uh, this is in my mind, and I wrote it. Uh, it gave me trust afterward when I finished my uh, universal from from the uh, college. I start to write also. Then God is working in us. 
But I couldn't imagine that I will write all these books. And I was there was no plan in my life that I will do so and so. According to the feeling, I am in need to write this thing, even if it will not be published. But it is for my salvation. There's a story, Abuna, that you once heard you say, if you can say it to us, Yanni, about publishing your first translated when you started working and you didn't have money. To, can you can you tell us oh, the story? When you this it? while I was in the working in the bank of Alexandria, Barclays Bank before. And I, we are three persons at that time, Gamal Abdel Nasser, the president, refused any person to import books or anything. But, but there was a, a bookstore, the only one which can be in contact with uh, a Brodian. Uh, we were three persons, Father Bishu Kamil, and uh, the other was uh, my friend and his friend, George, and uh, George Hanna, and me. We asked him them to, to import the one of the series of the Nicene and post Nicene Fathers, which concerning Saint Chrysostom and Saint Augustine. I start to uh, translate from some. Uh, I think it was written the lessons on the New Testament for Saint Augustine. And at that time, I haven't money because I I am I was not in need to have money in my plan. I will go to the monastery. Uh, when I finished about twenty lessons translated, I asked myself why I will not print it in the uh, Samuel. Uh, yeah, very easy printing, and they need 20 pounds, uh, Egyptian pounds. Uh, I haven't money, any money, then uh, I couldn't sleep. I asked God, I have to go to my work tomorrow in the bank, and I can't sleep. I translate and I will leave. If you want uh, these lessons to be published, okay. If not, okay. Uh, the following day, there was a red letter. Uh, we received uh, that there was the, the bank will give 10% of our uh, salary in the month. And uh, they said, they start from 20 pounds until 100. Uh, the, I received the money and I printed this, uh, uh, the, what are the, my translation, the print, I printed them. <laughs> God is working by all means in our life. Mm -hmm. Abuna, I have to ask the question, Abuna. Any, uh, why did you become a monk? <laughs> I, I can't, I can't pass that question, Yanni. So, how come? Yeah. You, why did you become a monk? <laughs> you know, because I love Father Luke, the from the monastery of uh, Mac Saint Macarius Urma. But I loved him too much. I felt as if he is my father. I was about 10 years old when I met him for the first time. My father dead, and he gave me, his, and when every time I took from him a book, I read it and return, return it to him. Then I felt, and he was a truly lover of all the people in the country, not only the young person or the children, but even the families. Although he is a monk, but all of us, surely, we feel he is the father of the old city. <laughs> so, so why didn't you become a monk? Why did I didn't? Yeah, why you didn't become a monk? Yeah. 
because uh, Father Bishoy Kamil <laughs> looked to me once when uh, I I asked it, I want to know in which monastery I will be admitted. He said, okay, you can come now and uh, leave the bank and uh, help me in serving the church and then you take the decision. I will not say anything. Uh, and suddenly he said to me, I spoke after one year, that Pope uh, Kirillus Cyril, the sex, he said to him, I am in need of priest. He said, do you have any person? He said, I have so and so. I do not know why. I said, yes. <laughs> but after that, two years, I was asking myself why I I have I was married and accept priesthood. It was not in mind in my mind that to be a priest. It is the work of God. This is what I feel that even this is for my salvation. Um, we have a few questions, Abuna. Someone is asking. Okay. Uh, uh, someone is asking. Tell us uh, one of your memories in prison. Um, Abuna, Abuna Tadros was in prison in 1981 um, by uh, Sadat, President Sadat, just in case someone is not familiar. And if you're not sure, we uh, we publish a book about that, you know, uh, chain in prison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have, we collected Abuna some memories from different fathers that were in prison. So tell us your, one of your experiences in prison, Abuna. In fact, uh, we were very, very happy. But only one thing which makes us in anxiety, we do not know what happened to the Pope. Mm -hmm. And they make all their effort that we do not be in contact with any person outside the prison. And we couldn't know if he is in the prison, if he alive, he, if he, if he Anwar Sadat did something against him, because he said to somebody that he will attack him. But we were very, very happy. We were praying together, bishops and priests and laymen. We eat with each other. We feel uh, that we are very close to, to God more than when we were uh, outside the prison. I asked Father Luke, Sidaros, he is a priest in the same church. If you was in America and you didn't enter in the uh, prison, what will be would be your feeling? He he said, my feeling I will was very very sad because the prison is for me. It is our pleasure that we are became one family, all of us, lot of the bishops and the priests and laymen. Therefore, it is, we are happy that we are in, me in the jail. <laughs> Abuna, uh, someone is asking as well, um, uh, how do you manage your time between church service, between uh, family, between uh, uh, masses and liturgies, between writing books and translating books. And so how, uh, and it's a lesson for all of us, Yanni, how do we, how do we do that? In fact, uh, I am not, Yanni, I haven't a program to my life. I put in my mind, this moment is the moment in, I live in the Lord. If I am in the church at home, I am reading, I am sleeping, I am in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is in my mind, but I didn't put program many hours to read, to write, to pray. To, but one thing I used to do, and that most of my time was in visiting the families. I loved it very much, especially sometimes while we are in the uh, visiting them, we discover their talents and they work with us. Then visiting visiting the families make us more active than when we are at home. 
Uh, Abona, you have you have uh, volumes of books of uh, things you wrote during um, during funerals and weddings and things like that. Is that correct? Contemplations uh, that con contemplations that you wrote during uh, uh, weddings. Ah, uh, I, I write. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I feel while I was young until now, mm. every moment of my life is very precious than anything in this world. If there is a funeral and uh, I have to pray something and I enter in the sanctuary and I complete what I was writing. <laughs> because time is very precious. Mm -hmm. And time, I can see, I can say time is gold, or peers also, time is everything in my life. Because the, the yeah, Judas, in moments he, he, he lost his eternity, and the many from the sinners in moments, they returned to God and became saints then time is very important. Mm. Uh, we want to hear a memory with Pope Krollos. Something like you, I'm sure you've interacted with Pope Krollos and you spoke to him and you saw him many times. Uh, tell us something that moved you or something that you uh, you remember from meeting Pope Krollos. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> we were, a uh, Father Bishop came and me, before even Abuna Luke was uh, ordained, we were very, very close to him. And he loved us, and we loved him. He used to come to Alexandria once a month, and we pray with him in uh, the cathedral. Once for some months, we do not meet him. And Father Bishoy said to me, now we do not see the, the Pope about six months. Please, any one of us, when he heard that, he came, he not, do not wait that we go together because we lost the time. When I met him, I said to him, Yani, sorry for a long time we didn't come. And the father, Bishu and me, we say apologize for that because we want to be with you. Then he said to me, I don't care about your coming and the coming of Abuna Abshoi. I feel very happy for what I heard concerning him and concerning you. And I went to the Pope, at, uh, the Father Bishoy, and, to, and said to him what happened. He went to him and to uh, apologize, and uh, we were very close to him. Uh, once a person, when you ask about the experience with Pope Kirillus VI, in our church there was a lawyer, and uh, his life yani, was not very yani, religious. This uh, lawyer, when he heard about uh, Father Mina, Al Mutawahid, he will uh, be a Pope, he wrote a paper against uh, he spoke about how oh, he wrote against him that he couldn't be uh, the Pope of Alexandria. When he was chosen as a Pope, he went to apologize to say to him, sorry what concerning what I wrote. When he asked Suleiman, who is father Amber Bishu, Amber, and their Amber Bishu, their father, the monastery of Amber Mina. Sorry, because I my memory is very bad. Uh, he went and, and met Suleiman and said to him, I want to meet the Pope. And he gave his name to him. He went to the Pope in his uh, room and said, 
the lawyer so and so want to meet you. He said, okay. And he came and he was very joyful. He started to speak with him and he spoke joyfully and uh, according to the words of the lawyer himself. He imagined that the Pope didn't know what he wrote against him. Then uh, the Pope, after many minutes, he said to him, oh, they say against me so and so and so. <laughs> then he discovered that he wrote, he read what he wrote. He said, sorry, I didn't know you before. I love you now. And I apologize that I wrote against you. He said, against who? He said, against Pope Rulus the sixth, uh, against the Pope, Father uh, uh, Mina. Uh, he said, Father Mina died. I am Pope Kirillus, I am your father. And you attacked Father Moon Amina who died. And then he said to Suleiman, when any time he comes, even if I am sleeping, awake me and I will I meet him. And he said to him, don't take any appointment at any time, at night, at the day, any time. You can enter, welcome. And he was, he became very close friend to the Pope. <laughs> I do not, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, always I am remember this, what happened with this lawyer. Abuna, what advice would you give to young families, like young families today, uh, busy life with kids and with the work and everything else? Uh, what what do you what advice do you give them? Like things to to look after or have to look after the kids or to have to uh, the family as, as a in general. Yeah. They have to know that these kids are children of God, even in their work. From time to time, they ask God, "May you take care of your children, whom you give me to." to give them to me. When the children are in need to see in their parents that they are very joyful, they are full of love. Sometimes we spend little time, but very precious for the children. Sometimes we take all the day with the children, but they are not happy with their parents. Then our inner life is very really important in everything. So by example, yeah, and you give them the example of that, what they want to be. Yeah, yeah I mean, if, for example, if that child do something wrong, and instead of condemning them and so on, they take them in their, uh, yeah, I mean, they love them and speak with them gently and so on. Mm. No, I mean, they become good examples for the children, yeah. And for example, while I was in New Jersey, a person came and uh, he finished his study from the, the college and he said to me, I put in my mind that I will deny faith and I will reveal to my uh, friends that I will never, I am not Christian, I don't care about faith, and so on. And I start to write, so that I will reveal it in the Facebook to all my friends. When I start to write, I, I look to my mom. If I, if I write that, and, uh, and I died, and my mom will be in the bosom of Jesus Christ, and I will not see her. And she is the source of my uh, yani, happiness and my joy and so on, because she was always happy at home. Then I, ref I didn't reveal that, and I came to confess and to start my you know, my life again, in Christian life again. 
we are in need to see in the parents that they are very joyful. They are full of love to any person. Um, as some of the some of you know that we, uh, we have uh, translated some of our books into French and German, and uh, the reason for this is Abu Tadros. Uh, I was visiting him uh, at his house a couple of years ago, and he mentioned that we uh, we should translate to every language, to other languages, not just English. And he said the word of God is you know it's not just for English speaking; it's for the whole world, and we should. Do. So I left there. Uh, you know, to be honest with you, uh, confession of Buna, yani, uh, I said, yani, okay, yani, thanks Abuna, but it's already too much work. Yani, I don't think it's going to work. And as soon as I came back to Australia, um, uh, a lady kept on messaging me about translating to Spanish, uh, one of the books to Spanish, the, the liturgy for teens. And she kept on, her, like, it was, she was messaging me three times a week. And I sent, it, sent her, the, I was thought I just, you know, make her quiet. So I sent her a small portion of the book to translate and she finished it and basically finished the whole book in, in less than a month. Like it's a big book and very quickly finished. Um, so I knew that this was a bonus prayer. Yani, his direction uh, is working Yani through the service, uh, even, even though Yani from Egypt, Yani. So thank you. So what do you say, Abuna, Abuna Tedros? What do you say to Yani to evangelize? How can we use this service to, you know, to evangelize? What, what, what can we do? In fact, it is not my idea or my will. It is a work of Mina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, he did everything concerning the translate, uh, organizing the translation and something like that. I remember once a person called me and said to me, I was a captain in uh, the company of uh, Air, uh, Air Epicham, and Tehran. Uh, Air flight, mm -hmm. and uh, I now, yani, I have a lot of time. I translate a book in French, and I don't one of my books, and I don't know what where I will send it. Then I asked him to speak with Mina, and he took the book and he published. I feel a lot of people have the talents to translate. Some in Turkish, some in uh, <laughs> you know, Chinese. I've seen some Chinese and uh, Filipinos and, and like a lot things. of languages. <laughs> no, I I feel many books are. I do not know what is translated and for how many uh, yeah, languages. But I trust God will work, even while I am alive or I, even after my death. God is working. By all means. <laughs> Abuna, tell us one of the nice memories uh, that you remember from your mother. My mother? Yes. <laughs> uh, I feel because my father died while I was 10 years old, she put in her mind to take care of us from all the enemy concerning everything in our life. And uh, she did a lot of work uh, in my life and in my sister's life. Mm. Do you have examples of one of the can you memories, any one of the memories? Uh, of her work? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was very simple. She put in her mind that we have to be educated and uh, I was in uh, Upper Egypt and she came with me in Alexandria when I was accepted or admitted to the college in Alexandria and she, she, uh, yani she helped me as a mother. What about your father, Abun? Do you have memories from uh, your dad, Jen? I do not remember me too much because I he died from 1948. Mm. <laughs> and then, and he also, when his father died, he was not born at that time. And he didn't see his father. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, for me, I see my father just in, 
10 years for the my Pierce until I he died. Mm. The, the, there's a story of that we he visited some countryside, well, uh, some some countryside in Egypt, and families were praising in, in Coptic or Coptic families were praising. Good, praising yeah. Yeah. The excuse me, mm. Uh, mm. I don't understand. Mm. Yeah, no. Uh, okay, <laughs> I visited this uh, well, uh, country near can what is the Nakada? It is called Nakada, and uh, I have a lot of my uh, f uh, family there. But because my father died while I was 10 years, I was not in contact with all the, the, the families in this country or another country. They used, at that time, all the country was Christian, except uh, the one of the soldiers. And they used to work, and uh, their work also, even the king at the time, uh, Farouk uh, used to take some of what they did and send it to Mecca and somewhere in the sea. The style. textiles, uh, that, uh, yeah. But I do not remember because now I am 86, more than 85 years old. Hmm. I put in my mind. That I was born in the by my baptism, and my country is in heaven, and my father is God Himself. Mm -hmm. This is my inner feeling. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I do not remember. I do not wrote anything concerning that my family here. My family is in heaven. Abuna, mm -hmm. yeah, your. Uh... And in all your sermons and all your books and um, in uh, all your talks, uh, it, it always uh, doesn't matter what the topic is. It ends up about being heaven in heaven. So, and you, how is that? And it's it, uh, anything that we hear from you. It's uh, and you, very quickly it goes to heaven. How do you, and you, you tell us more? Yeah. <laughs> Once a person asked me, "You are always speaking concerning Jesus Christ, and you are always speaking about heaven." I said to him, if you see someone who is more important than Jesus Christ, tell me <laughs> if there is any place which is more, you know, give happiness more than the heaven, then I will speak. What do you, what do you want from me? I love Jesus Christ. I want to be in heaven. And I hope the whole world to enjoy the heavenly life. It is very easy, not as uh, somebody feels it is hard or something like that. And we are the children of God, and he wants to give himself to us and to will to dwell within us and to reveal his secrets and uh, mysteries to us. Then we are very happy by heaven and by the Lord or by the Holy Trinity. Abunat, hmm. there's another question here about you, know, you went through a hard time in your life and uh, uh, many, many times and in prison and outside the prison and everywhere and in service. Um, and so as an example for us, Yani, um, how do we, um, uh, throughout our hard times that we come throughout our life, how do we keep our faith and our concentration on, on Christ and our faith any strong and not be distracted by this, you know, uh, hard, hard times that comes from everywhere. Uh, sure. I, I used to not to see no, especially to the Pope and and he knows this very well. And I uh, look to every time I went to any country, what will I learn from this country? For example, when I went to Melbourne, Australia, and there was a problem. 
And the, uh, at the time, the problem was very, very hard. Even two bishops went, and uh, they couldn't. They, the, those who the, those who against the church couldn't be in contact with them. Then the, when I went, uh, the first thing I went to the priest who was, in fact. Uh, he, he, he lost his priesthood and he was in the hospital and uh, he started to speak about three hours this is the first day with him when I was in Melbourne then I said to him I want to tell you something he said what I said to him surely God will solve the problem and you will become very happy. He said, but we lost everything. I said, no, we are in the Lord Jesus Christ. And when I visited the person who was the first person or the leader concerning this problem, I knocked the door without telling him by phone because the, the bishop said to me, if you will call him, he will say, don't come. I, call, I knocked the door, I, I rang the bell, and then he opened the door and said, oh, Father, so and so. I said, yes. He said, why you don't call me by phone? He said, how can I call the phone in my home? This is my home. <laughs> this is my house. He said, welcome. I said, can I take the uh, tea? He said, okay. And, I, and, and he started to speak also about three hours. And after he finished, I said to him, I want to tell you, surely God will solve the problem. But I want one thing from you. He said, what? I said, I love you. If I heard something, I will speak with you. If any person told you about me that I said anything against you, please call me. I don't want the Pope, nor the bishops, nor the priests, nor any of the lay, laymen to enter between us. I want to be in contact with you and you with me. And he, we became very, very close friends. And God works in his life. And he said to me, I didn't say that to the Pope. He said to me, now, I can say to you that God is in heaven and Pope Shenouda is in at, at the earth. I loved him too much. I don't tell the story even to the Pope. God is working. When we become, when live in simplicity, surely God will work. And sometimes he works we, and we don't know what he did. And we will discover on the last day that he did for us a lot of things we do not discover while we were in on earth. And we are lucky. Abuna, we miss you in Australia here in, in Sydney and in Melbourne. Yani, so uh, when is your next visit? I, my life, you can't imagine how I live. Yeah, I mean, many years now, I have a problem in my stomach and in my colon. Yeah, too hard even. I spend a day <laughs> far away from my place mm -hmm. for these uh, problems in my body. But if God wants me, okay, mm -hmm. he can... <laughs> Grant me healing, and I will go. Buna tab, yani you you knew Amba Daniel from our monastery here for a long time, and he was just visiting you at uh, at your home, yani. But do you have yeah. memory from Amba Daniel? Yeah, <laughs> Amba Daniel, I know him while he was student in high school, in the first the years of high school. And always he used to speak with me. I speak with him. And I know one word in Arabic. He used to say me, 
أحسن من كده ما في. In English, nothing is more bitter, more bitter than what I have now. And always, when I speak with somebody, I said, there is a young person used to say these words, أحسن من كده ما في. <laughs> and I, when he came at my home this week, I told him about his words while he was young, very young. Mm-hmm. He was very, very joyful. I loved him while he was very young, and he was in. We we are in contact with his uh, with each other while I was in Australia. But it is for me too hard to be in contact with others because I go from city to city and from. Uh, yani, uh-huh. yani, it is too hard for my time. طب ابونا وان لاست كويشن انا انا يو اتسك تايد ان يعني وي توك ا لوت اوف يور تايم اوريدي سمثينج اباوت سمثينج ابونا اباوت ابونا بشوي كامل يعني يور بيرسونال انتراكشن ويز ابونا بشوي كامل يعني سمثينج ذات وي كان يعني ليرن يعني بيفور هي بيكيم ا بريست اي ميت هيم ان 1952 اي ثينك اور Uh, after yeah, when I came to the college in Alexandria, I loved him, and we became very close friends. Although he is uh, old, more, more old, six years from me. Uh, I loved in him one thing: he wants every single person in the world to be saved. Nothing in his mind, he was not involved in anything except the salvation of the whole world. This is, in fact, the reality of this, uh, can, uh, his name, uh, Sami Kamil. Sami Kamil. be very bad because of my... يعني because I'm sick. He is a he is a good person and uh, he is all he was always joyful. He loved every person. When he met any person, he feels that he is very very close to him. طب أبونا if you have any any last words. For for us, yani, as uh, servants in you know in publishing books and writing books, uh, do you have any specific direction that we should concentrate on, or to, you know something that we should be doing while serving, or yani, how important the service is, this service is, or you know if you have yeah, a few last words, yani, for you for us, yani, to uh, the last words is when I write anything or read anything. or even correct something, I have to ask myself why God wanted, what God wanted from me in reading or correcting these words. I feel the Christian person always feels is, he is growing up and up and up and enjoying the glory of heaven more and more and more. That when we are reading, writing, praying, eating, sleeping, we are flying towards heaven. Then we become very happy. Thank you so much, Abuna. Uh, thank you for this chance and sorry for my language because from about two or three years when I became very sick, even the Arabic, <laughs> I, uh, for, yani, my memory became very bad. I hope if God wants me to retain the, my memory, retain good, I will be happy.
Thank you so much, Abuna. You've inspired uh, us, Yani, for your service, and uh, thank you for being with us, Yani. Abuna has been sick, as he kind of as Yani, uh, you've heard, Yani. He's uh, he's been sick for a while, and he just made time, Yani, to be with us today. Uh, we took up a lot of your time, Abuna. So thank you so so much, Yani. Thank we love you, you very much. We love you very much, and we would love to uh, to definitely uh, see you in Australia very soon, Yani, Abuna. I am in need of your prayers, all of you and uh, to pray for me and to prepare my life for his last coming. This is what is important in my life. I always say, when you will come, O Lord Jesus Christ, we are waiting quickly to be with you. Thank you very much. Thank and you. thank you to all who heard uh, concerning what I said. Mm -hmm. Antonio, do you want to say something about it? Uh, the, the, in fact, uh, yani, I remember uh, Bishop Kirill Cyril in, uh, in uh, California. When he saw your uh, trans translation and editing and so on, he, was, he became very, very happy. And he said, that this work is very important, especially in English, because all the other language, it is very easy to translate from English to other, like Turkish, some can translate in Turkish. Uh, the second thing, when uh, his uh, grace uh, and uh, Bishop, uh, 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 Sorry, the name of the name of the name of or Metropolitan uh, <laughs> I love him too much and I speak with him, but when the memory became very bad. When he saw the book, which you do, and translated English and prepared to be, we finished the first uh, uh, volume, but uh, just printing, and I think we will. They will stand trans next the cover and so on. He said we were in need of this book for fifty years, when we were abroad, and we didn't find any English book concerning the Coptic Church. Then you can we the not me or the church now even in the future or especially in the future, all what you did will be for preaching Christianity and uh, I don't say Coptology because we are concerned in their salvation and we have, we want every single person by his own language to enjoy the new life in the Lord Jesus Christ or in the Holy Trinity life. Thank you very much, and God surely will, يعني, I can say how he will bless all your efforts, and how these efforts, even heaven itself, is very joyful for this work. With your prayers always, Abuna Mana. Uh, we have Abuna Antonius Caldas Abuna, he just wanted to, uh, from Sydney. And uh, he actually just finished a book introduction about the church as well, like uh, a very nice book. It's a, it's a, any, uh, yeah, it, it's a really nice book about the church. I'll bring you a copy if when I come in January, Bismillah. Uh, but okay. uh, 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 we have open in January. We will finish the two volumes of uh, catechism. Mm -hmm. the, Sir, Abun, Abuna Tadrasad, on behalf of all of us, we'd like to thank you for your life of love and service, Abuna, over all the years. Uh, as, as a young man growing up who couldn't read Arabic, your books made a huge, huge difference. To be able to come into the church and to pray the liturgy in English, it made a huge, huge difference. And Abuna, even if the memory is fading, it's very clear that the light of your love can never, ever fade. May it 
continue to shine on all of us and in us and through us too. Pr please pray for us that God may give us a little tiny portion of the spirit that he gave you, Abuna. Thank you for all you've done. Thank you, but I want to tell you, you can't imagine how I am. Not I am, but many persons, even non-Christians, and many persons called me and said to me the English books, and one of them, he is not Orthodox. He said, I loved Orthodoxy and the early fathers and the, all the books, I read them and even I I use them in, my, in our church. I don't remember where he is. He is not in the uh, 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 Sydney or the United States of Canada or Europe. I think in another city. Thank you very much. And surely what you did is a miracle. I can't express how I am very happy to this work. And surely God will grant you more and more blessings. I actually remember, I, Buna, I have a memory of Buna that when, uh, when Otsa came to Sydney and uh, started the English Mass in Sydney, and that was the first time that the church had an English Mass on a Sunday parallel to the Arabic. That was that was a that was a miracle. <laughs> and I remember yeah. that, Yanni, that was... Yeah. <laughs> that was in, a, nine, in 1970, when I went to United States, I used to write just one paper in English and the paper letter and size make it in uh, like four little pages. And I remember I wrote about Saint Anthony the Great in the four little pages. And the one of the pe person were in he was uh, in uh, yani in government yani, uh, city be some way working in the city and he gave it to one of them the Americans and we when he read it he said is it truly Saint Anthony in the left in this way I said yes he said can I want to know men a lot of uh, concerning the Coptic Church and he start to give this words to his uh, those who work with him in the city and we are in need and need and need because in this generation if we will not translate the future will be very difficult because they will not know arabic the majority will be english and it is hard to find any person to translate therefore you do what the best thing in this generation for the future. I am not looking for now. Now our fathers, our grandfathers, our parents uh, can help us, but I am looking for the future. After 70 or 80 years, do you think you will find somebody in the United States or in Canada or in Australia can translate to heart? Therefore, it is our responsibility as soldiers of God to wear on behalf of the salvation of the whole world. Because what you make by the translation, it will be translated in the future also to other languages. Thank you for your efforts and may the Lord grant all of us to be to live in Him and to enjoy. His work in our life. We'll pray for us, please. I am need of your prayers. Thank you very much. In the hand, Abuna. In the Please. I am in need of your prayers. One of the priests can. Abun Antonius. Oh, he escaped. Oh, there he is. Oh, Tadalev. Abun Antonius. Tadalev. Tadalev. Please go ahead, Abuna Fatima. Hallelujah. Uh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you so much for getting us together uh, from all over the world. We thank you um, for, for sending us, Abuna, 
Tedros and sending us Abun Antonios to be with us, inspiration and to 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 learn from their from their life and from from their work and from their hard work to serve your your church and to serve your people. Uh, please, Lord, give us all this. Uh, give us this power to 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 work to work more and more to uh, to spread your word to let people know about you to the children the teenagers the adults everyone around the world in different languages Lord, dear lord help us to spread your word um, as much as we can everyone um, according to his uh, talent everyone according to his uh, ability everyone according to what god what you have given given them um Please, Lord, uh, help us. Help us to this work. It's it's yours, and uh, we need your uh, help to 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 push it forward through the intercessions of Saint Mary and Saint Mark and Saint Jino. Then all the saints hear us, Lord, and we pray thankfully. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread. Or give us our trespasses. For the and the kingdom come. Glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Abuna, too much. Thank you. Thank pray you. for me and don't forget me. Pray for me, please. I love you, Abuna. I love you very much. Uh, salam, Abuna Antonius. Uh, and all of you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, Abuna. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mina. Thank you for the opportunity you, <laughs> for organizing this and helping us yani, uh, getting in touch with Abuna. Yani. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.